Well, hello there and welcome back to a brand new video where today's video is essentially our last match of our Six Nations Challenge. If you remember, we head over to events. We have play a match between Wales and Italy, which we haven't done yet. And once we do that, we should be pretty good because we've done a match between Ireland and Scotland. We've done a match between France and England. And basically, if we win, or actually, no, we just got to play the match. Hopefully, we'll receive 10,000 score points, as well as a pack from Scotland and a pack from Ireland, which I'm very excited for. Now, however, you might have noticed in the last video, I'm sure the date was going to expire on the 18th of March. I basically, the last time I played, or I think the last time I uploaded a video, was like three or four days ago. And I think we missed the deadline, but it looks like they've either extended it or it's a new event. It looks like more of a new event, but I'm hoping to see if we do just play Wales and Italy, we will get both packs. We'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, this week's been a really long week, been a busy week. I obviously, I had F1 today, which was fun. And then yesterday there was that Saracens game, uh, which was also fun. Uh, but no, this week's just been very, very busy in general. So I'm hoping if we play between Wales and Italy, you know, we should get the pack. We'll see what happens. If not, we'll have to do the other two as well. But we might do that all in one video. But anyway, so what have we got to do? we got to do Wales, Wales, Italy. Wales, Italy. Right, so let's go to Nations Trophy. Wales. Should we play as Wales? Well, yeah, we haven't played as Wales in a long time. We should play as Wales. And then we'll play against Adalia, Italy. Du -du 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 -du. Where are you, Italy? Where are you, Italy? Cool. Stadium-wise, what do we fancy? Diamond Arena? Go on, then. Why not? Um, we haven't played Wales in a while. Anyone on the bench, on the reserves? Nick Tompkins. I absolutely love Nick Tompkins. A Columbus Harrison supporter, but why is he not? Uh, let's have him on the bench. Um, let's have him for a scrum half. How are we looking for bench, anyway? We've got... A flanker, a hooker, a prop, a prop, a center. I think it's a decent, decent. Uh, the offense of, of attacking. Kind of want penetrating. Full back far. Pass chain. Let's go for a D. Let's go for a V line. And then defense against the Italians. I kind of want blitz. Pendulum. Yeah, I think that will do. Set plays. We don't really do many. So let's say in the breakdown, kind of want to go for... Pivot 15. Um, oh, what do I fancy? A pot three? Why not? Um, oh, the loop. And then the friendly switch. Or the French switch. Why not? Let's give that a go. Anyway, let's kick off. So we're 10 ratings above Italy. Which player holds the record for the number of points scored in the English Premiership? Owen. Oh. I was, evening, you could tell in my voice how passionate and how determined, well, I guess in terms of how um, certain I was with that, but but no. It's pretty interesting, this little stadium here. A little, like, nice little kind of animation, kind of video there in terms of how it's coming out, but it is what it is. It does pretty well. Um, but no, the Six Nations is now finished. My dad actually went to Paris for England versus France. Obviously, England lost. Congratulations to France for A, winning the Six Nations, but also the Grand Slam. Now, I don't know about you guys, but England, I mean, we'll talk about England in a moment. But if you guys remember, do you, do you guys remember, you probably you guys saw, Italy won their first game. Oh. Oh. We've scored already once again. Woo! That was a great try. Um, but basically, yeah, Italy beat Wales. What? That's madness. Congrats to Italy. I mean, I mean, all that, you know, all the people who think, oh, Italy are not good enough to be in the Six Nations. I mean, they beat Wales. I mean, Italy beat Wales. Which is crazy, isn't it? Um, but no, congratulations to and Italy. Uh, yeah, it was a weird weekend, wasn't it? Italy beat Wales. Ireland beat Scotland, which was 
kind of expected. I mean, I honestly thought Scotland were going to do well. Like, I just generally thought Scotland were going to do... I just generally thought Scotland were going to do quite well in this competition. But I think, obviously, when they beat us, I was like, oh, I mean, could Scotland win the Six Nations? That was kind of my thought. I was like, could Scotland win the Six Nations? But, but no. So the first line out of the match. That was that was that was behind. Yeah, what? Apparently we 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 were what? I'm sure we kicked it inside our 22. Are you serious? Anywho. Oh, that was close. But no, yeah, I mean, what was I talking about? I lost track there for a moment. Yeah, so Italy winning. I mean, does does that stop? Oh, he left the defensive line hanging like it needed laundry. Does that? Oh, oh. might be worth spreading it to the wing. It has Damn, Italy have scored. It's gonna be an interesting game. But obviously, what I mentioned was Italy beating Wales. I mean, Italy have shown great. No, actually, yeah. The, uh, actually, I spoke about Scotland, but we'll talk about Italy. <laughs> me being me, all over the place. Um. Italy beating Wales is a tremendous result. And it was a very close game. Very entertaining. Oh, and, that kick. you know, it's it's one of those things where you're like, could Italy in a few Donovan years' time be like a Scotland? I mean, to, or maybe like an England, to be honest. I mean, England lost two games in the it's Six Nations. Touch. Terrible uh, by England. But um, but no, Italy. I, I was I was very happy for Italy. You know, I mean, to us, Italy had. Oh, you lemon, Davis, Davis, you numpty. But no, it'd be interesting to see. I mean, I mean, I, I still we still don't really know like who would replace. Like, if we did a relegation for the Six Nations, who 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 is? I mean, I've always looked at the Six Nations as European countries. And there's been talks like Georgia. And, and then there's been talks... Touch. That's straight into touch, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Um, the there's talks like Georgia. There's talks like South Africa. And I'm like, are you serious? Like, like I've always looked at the Six Nations so as six European countries. North, oh, damn bigger. bigger. What a try. Beautiful try. That. that was absolutely fantastic. Look at that. The offloads were just brilliant. Oh, damn, bigger. Oh, sensational. Oh, it is a bit windy. Oh, Jesus. I've messed this up big time. That was ambitious. <laughs> that was ambitious. Um, but no, I mean... I don't know who else you could replace Italy with, you know. Oh, was that it? Was I in my twenty-two? I was. It looks like. I think I was in my. I was in my twenty-two. Right to the left. Yeah, that's how to keep the ball alive. Oh, Adams. Here's the rock being created. Okay, now it seems they're going to go for a specially planned move. Oh, mate, that was shocking. The here is the timing of every mate, run. there was no... there was. I can't believe there was no one to my left. Oh, big hit there. But where was everyone? They were, like, huddled to the right, I think, still. Oh. Get him into touch. Come on. Oh. But yeah, it's an interesting topic, isn't it? Always like, oh, should Italy be in it still? Should we have someone else? But in a weird way for me, as a obviously as a viewer, obviously being an England supporter as well, is it's it's kind of interesting having a team which people think they can easily get a bonus point from. But then, you know, the teams who don't, it's like, well, you didn't really do a good job, did you? Yeah, because in a, in a way, Italy's been known as the team who gets the easy points. But no, let me know in the comments. Who do you think? You mean do you think? You know, because of Italy beating Wales, I think it kind of calms down the, the discussions about should Italy 
you know, not even be in it. But you say that, though, but Italy have always said, well, bring it on. We'll happily play whoever wants to try and come in. But I still think it has to be a European country. Like, that's the whole point of the Six Nations, isn't it? But... Ah, oh, straight into touch. Shocking play there, Matt. Um, but yeah, on the other hand, what was it? We saw Ireland... We saw Ireland beat Scotland, which... Like I said at the beginning, Scotland, I thought we were going to do... Honestly, I thought Scotland were going to do well. But I think they... they I, think, I, I, I think... I don't know. The rivalry between Scotland and England, I think maybe that was what kind of got Scotland motivated. Into touch, half-time. But it's... Yeah, I thought Scotland were going to do better, to be honest. But it turned out they didn't really, did they? Um... Yeah, Ireland... Uh, I mean, if England did the... If England did it... Like, if England did beat... Oh, drop before... Oh, did he drop on the line or not? It's a full line out. I think it did. The ball gathered in. It did. Oh my goodness. He's keeping the ball in play. That Good that defense. was a perfect it's kick. In and it's still theirs. Oh, he's in his twenty-two there. Just I think I think he was just in his twenty. No, he wasn't. So seven players readying themselves for this line out. Oh, he is the king of the line outs right now. It's Davis. Ah, uh, of course they've turned it over. I thought we might have a chance. They pile into the ruck. Hey, we are we are pressuring the, the we are pressuring Italy. Oh, look at the energy, the dynamism of it all. Mate, are Italy going to kick the ball? I mean, I was about to say, are we even going to try and tackle them? Oh. They're going to work hard for the ball. They've managed to oh, we were so the close to turning it over there. Gone. Is this Liam Williams? Williams. Liam Williams. That looks like it'll be a rough. They keep the ball. Stay. Where is the support on the right hand side? Oh, when did people get? And they keep when did put like there was no one there on the right hand side? Oh my goodness. <laughs> he literally bulldozed our guy over. But no, yeah, so it's 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 pretty interesting the Six Nations this year. Um I'm still not un I'm I'm really uncertain about England, to be honest. I think Eddie Jones, the RFU came out today and they were like, Oh, we're gonna back Eddie Jones for at least the World Cup next year, and I'm just like mate, I'm not what theatre we've had today. Oh, it was straight out. But I'm not being funny, but they've decided to go with a seven. Like Eddie doesn't do anything. Like he keeps the same players. Like yeah, he's brought in Marcus Ball Smith, which is great. But Good he hasn't. Like I, I wouldn't necessarily. He just keeps the same players on the pitch. Right here we go. Switch to the right. Come on. Switch to the right, please. Williams with bigger. Gets his hands free in the contact. Oh, here we go. This is going to be a real struggle. I don't know that Eddie Jones is like, oh, we'll bring in the youth truck, but he just like, like Ball Ben Youngs. Why is Ben Youngs even in the England squad? The there's much better scrum halves than Ben Youngs. Oh, because he's got experience. Well, oh, that's a huge kick. The referee says that's a is he not in touch? In I thought wins. he was. Apparently not. Very skillful handling. Yeah, it's an, and I'm just like, why is Ben Youngs of all people? But anyway. It's it's an intro. I mean, he should have just brought Preach. He should have just got Danny Kerr in if he's bringing out all the oldies that <laughs> to come in for England. Um, but yeah, he just... I don't know, man. What a kick by the Italians. They're five metres out. What? This isn't going... Oh, shoot. I thought it was I thought it was my line-out for some reason. It. Oh, it's that new rule, isn't it? It's that new rule. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Push, Wales. Push. Oh, what a move that was. And what it's going to be an interesting 10 minutes. Oh, no, Matt. If they what score this, finish. it's going to be a draw. No what? Aye, aye, aye. Mate, what's going on here? Yes. It's 12 all. Right. I think let's make a few subs, mate. Right. Who are we bringing on? Who are we bringing on? Um, I think we need speed. Don't we? I think Nick Tompkins. 
Let's bring on our good friend Nick Tompkins for you. Let's uh, our lock. Uh, you for you. We we just want some fresh. Like whoever's ready to come on, we've got a big old ten minutes come. Jenkins, I know. Um, scroll down quick. Yeah, we don't have another flank from the bench, do we? So, uh, change you for you. Should we change the front row? I think so. Let's change the front row, just because we we kind of. I feel like I don't. Do we have a hooker on the bench? We do indeed. I just feel like fresh legs. Fresh everything. Because it's going to be a big old 10 minutes here. Dan Bigger coming off. Callum Sheedy coming on. Here we go. Big old substitutes. Hopefully the subs can be made in time. Yes, they can. Callum Sheedy. Here we go. Big old kick, mate. It really has been a fabulous game of rugby. Oh, what a kick. Levels have been off the charts. Come on. Oh, hands in the rock, mate. Ah. But no, yeah, going to Eddie Jones, I mean, I want him for the World Cup, but also at the same time, I kind of feel like, I don't know, we got to be a bit ruthless. I mean, if he doesn't do well in the World Cup, then I'm kind of thinking, I feel like if he doesn't do well in the World Cup, I think that's it. Like, we've given him plenty of time to kind of, like, do his thing. Oh, come on, Wales. Oh. A change of tactics defensively. Yeah, and with this, they're looking to avoid being taken on the Mate, outside. Italy are literally pushing us here. Williams passes the ball. Falatau send it on to Tipperary. Adams decides to kick it. Adams! Oh, you useless plum. He tried making ground. It just didn't work. Oh, it hit his head. Oh, Callum, I bring you on the bench. Bring you on the bench. I bring you in the team, mate. I want a quick offload. Oh, the Italians are pushing us. Like, this is going to be an interesting last couple of minutes here. Here we go, here we go. Left. This change in attacking philosophy. They're trying to make it harder for their opponents to get reset defense. Oh, Adams. They've held on to the ball. To the right. Oh, George. Looks like they're going to try something special here, Ben. Something magic. That's right. Oh, Callum Sheedy. Interesting to see what exactly. There's big gaps on the outside. Oh. Oh, kick it again. Go. To get the oh, my oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, you cannot make this up. I mean, oh, I mean, look at this big old grubber kick, and then he's like, boom, and another one, boom, and then he's like, ah. Oh. Oof. There's less pressure now, Callum. Concentration on the kicker's face. Come on, Callum, get this in, mate. And it's oh, beautiful, 19-12. Woo! Oh, that was awesome. Hey, we didn't see this last time, did we? Oh, maybe we got to do it in order. Uh, okay. What was the nickname of the current forwards coach? I don't know. Square. Nope. Got that wrong. Okay, so it looks like we do have to do the other two. Ah, uh, now they're ticking it off. Ah, uh, it didn't tick off last time, did it? Anywho, what we'll do is we will try and finish this in the next few days. And what we might do is I might just do one video of playing both, maybe. Yeah, maybe. We'll see what happens. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, but no, what are your thoughts, guys? Like, wow. What a finish. What a finish. But, uh, but no, so whilst the game's now finished, um, yeah, last minute thoughts on the Six Nations. So, Eddie Jones, for me personally, I feel like we've had this Six Nations, hasn't gone well. Last Six Nations wasn't well. Yeah, we got to the final in the World Cup, which was great, but we ran out of steam. I think if we won the World Cup, it'd be a bit different. 
Um, it's a bit like Gareth Southgate in the English in the football, you know. Get to the final, has a few hiccups here or there, but overall he's a people pleaser. Maybe because Eddie Jones, I don't know, is he a people pleaser for, for, the, for the RFU? But I think we've got such a big tournament coming up. I think people are, I guess, from the board, it's like, if they do get rid of him, who do they get in? But it's a risk. It's a massive risk. I think, I don't know. I think Eddie Jones, if I'm Eddie... I'm looking at the teams who have played in the Six Nations and gone, this team, this squad isn't the squad. There's some great, fantastic players and there's some great things, but we just seem open. When I was at the Twickenham game, I know it was a red card and we played like we played with our hearts. But I don't know, the England team just seems to be not motivated half the time, which is, oh, it's, it's a bit of a shame. You know, against the Scotland game, we were doing so well. The matey boy being careless and then getting a booking and, oh, just, you know, penalty, tr you know, it was a lot of things. But I think overall in the Six Nations, it was good. I mean, Italy winning, you know, France getting the Grand Slam. I mean, France looked good. I mean, my dad said they made some mistakes. I mean, I didn't watch the game because I was at, uh, I was actually out Saturday night. Um, but I was watching a little bit on my phone, like on the notes, because obviously my dad was at the game. And it was just, yeah, apparently France didn't play that well, but played okay. I don't know. What are your thoughts, guys, about the Six Nations? Do you think it was a good one? I mean, from an English fan, wasn't great. I guess if you were Scottish, wasn't great. If you were Irish, you were, eh, you know, pretty happy. If you were French, you are buzzing. And then, obviously, if you're Italian, I think you're buzzing. Probably as buzzing as much as the French. Like, you won a game against Wales. Woo! Like, that, that was crazy. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, then be sure you massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment for regarding this. But anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. And as with my next video, adios, chaps. Boom.